Good day and welcome to the Procon YouTube channel. My name is Anami and I'm a Procon Technical Consultant. Today I will be looking at how to add sections in the timber design module that aren't listed. First, I will analyze the timber beam in frame analysis, then export the beam to timber member design module, and finally, then export the beam to the timber member design module, and finally, add the sections that are not listed. So as you can see here, I have a beam in Procon frame analysis. I want to change the section of this beam to a timber beam that I know is not listed. So I go to Seligna Laminated Sections and I want to choose this 160 by 485. Okay, because I know that this one is not listed in the timber member design module. Okay, so if I go to my settings analysis and I'll just run the analysis. And after the analysis has been run, I can go to my output deflections and then what I'm really interested in is going to the design links and selecting the timber design link. This will now send all of my analysis results through to the timber member design module where I can now further design. Let me just change the design code there to the latest one. Okay, so as you can see here under edit timber grades, my current grade is set to SA Pine grade 4. But I want this to be Seligna Lamp, so I just click on F5 there and then um, select the right timber grade. Okay, so next I would like to just select my element groups. I want to um, look at the whole element and then add the task. Okay, so next we need to go to members and then I just want to add internal loads because I want to look at the beam as one entire section. As you can see, if I select auto select, then it selects, then it adds internal nodes and you can see the length of my beam has now changed. Okay, so if I go to design, you can see at the bottom there that the, the section that I was that I chose in the frame analysis module is not listed. Okay, so this is what we are actually interested in. We want I just want to show you today how to add this section if it is not listed. Okay, if I go to edit timber grades and then under timber grades you can see that the Seligna the size number will be number three. So if I go to section sizes, um, I have to add the size in the third column, which was number three for Seligna. And I just add my 160 by 485. And I'll just select update task. And if I now go to members and design, and under the sections drop down list, you can see that my 160 by 485 will now be listed. And you can carry on adding sections like this as you need them. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Remember, Procon is an Autodesk Gold Partner and Authorized Developer Training and Certification Center. Please make sure to follow us on social media to get the latest news and updates and visit our website at www.procon.com.